You're still watching the City of Lagos TV show. Let's put you on speed on latest engagements of the number one citizen of Lagos, Mr. Babagide Somulu. Welcome to From the Governor's Office. First, the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babayude Somolu, alongside key cabinet members, top Muslim clerics, political associates, were all in attendance at the prayer session held in Lagos as part of the activities to celebrate the 70th birthday of Ashiwaju Bola Akmed Tunumbu. Mr. Governor, who revealed what inspired the prayer session, noted that prayers for the elder statesman is the best gift to appreciate the great works of Bola I'm sure you some of us are lucky. 24 hours ago, all of them were still praying for you and they were still praying for our state. And today again, they've come out in large number to come and celebrate and to thank God for your life. The first thing we should do for you people come and take him away politically, we should offer prayers in the morning for him because that is the greatest gift you can give to him. Prayer is the key and prayer is the tonic that he requires and he needs most especially. Governor Babajude Songulu was quite impressed with the photo and video exhibition put together recently in Lagos by Mr. Dayo Adedayo to tell the story about the life and times of Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu as part of activities to celebrate his 70th birthday. Mr. Governor described the exhibition as unique, informative and authoritative about the man Tunumbu. A photo exhibition is next to none that I've seen. And it's important for us to put it in context that we're celebrating a man when he's still alive. When you can indeed step back, soak it all in, you know, and you can see how people appreciate you. This celebration is not just about Mr. Dio. It's a combination of other outstanding photographers of like minds as, as himself and able to pull all of their archives cool things that are some are 30 40 years 50 years you know in history and put together a story about a man his journey family friends political journey taking Lagos to the level that it is today and the Nigerian conversation all around and that's what we've seen here so I'm truly really excited that I've been able to put it in picture form right? and I'm actually very impressed with the audio with the audio studio that I think is very first you know when you have all screens and you can you know wear your your earpiece and listen to great speeches you know that have been said by this, this great Nigerian. The Techith Bola Ahmed Tunubu Kalokwam was supposed to be a memorable event for Governor Babajide Sonwulu and eminent guests from diverse areas of endeavor in attendance but it turned out to be a day and moment for sober reflection for the celebrant to honor the dead as a result of the news a night before about terrorist attack of a train between Kaduna and Abuja, leaving over 60 people dead. Today is supposed to be a very joyful 70th birthday of mine. And this morning, given thanks to God Almighty, for being able to survive to this age. And I've just been informed of a very sad incident in our country that over 60 people and many more were killed and bombed on the train between Kaduna and Abuja. That is a very serious incident and it calls for a very serious sober reflection. To me, to be here celebrating, dancing, and enjoying myself doesn't show enough concern of a state man as a senior citizen of this country. I will urge the two clergies who are here present, continue to pray, and every one of you to go home and pray. And that's it from the governor's office. Next week, we'll bring you fresh updates from the office of the number one citizen. The City of Lagos TV show will continue right after this timeout.